Hey there, it's Dr. Jim Collins. Welcome to another episode. Um, I have a little bit of explaining to do about this. Um, my wife, Annabelle, and my daughter, Karina, and I have been watching a lot of um, Avengers, Captain America, Iron Man movies, so on and so forth. And um, for a long time, um, people have said, hey, Dr. Collins, you kind of look like Robert Downey Jr. So um, everybody believes this apparently except my wife. <clears throat> So she said, if you, if you feel you, you, you look like Robert Downey Jr., then grow a beard and let's see what happens. I know I'm gonna have to color it in a little bit, but we'll see. And then I've got Buddy, do you think I look like Robert Downey Jr.? Of course you do. Okay, thanks Buddy. So this episode is on caregiver, caregiving actually, diet and depression. Being a caregiver, what you eat, your diet, and then the possibility of becoming depressed or developing depression because of caregiving and uh, not eating well. So here's a sad but a true fact. Caregiving is deeply meaningful and it is purposeful to millions of Americans and it brings so many rewards, including serving other people and making a difference in someone's life. I've always felt that caregiving is one of the greatest things that we can do for another human being. Caregiving can be equally as stressful and time consuming to the point that the caregiver forgets to take care of himself or herself. And this can lead to a rather unhealthy lifestyle, including poor nutrition. So it can really add up and take its toll on a person's body and then eventually their mind. Caregivers who experience anxiety or depression may not realize that their mental health is directly related to their diet. And that is the point of today's topic, diet and mental health. There is a tremendous connection and association between the two. Scientific evidence between the importance of a healthy diet and good mental health has existed for many years. This is not a new concept whatsoever. In fact, a new field of medicine, and I really do encourage you to look this up, called nutritional psychiatry. Have you ever heard of that? Google it, check it out. Nutritional psychiatry has emerged and stresses the connection between the mind, the body, and nutrition. My parents used to tell me years ago, you are what you eat. And they were right in, in many ways. Experts in the field stress that what people eat matters significantly for every aspect of health, especially mental health and well-being. They also point out that there's a direct link between diet and depression. Um, the physical labor and the psychological stressors involved in caregiving may lead to even worse health outcomes. So this is a very serious issue. Some experts indicate that a diet includes a high, including a high intake of fruits, vegetables, whole ungrain or unprocessed grain, fish, olive oil, low fat dairy, and lots of antioxidants, that type of diet is associated with a decreased risk of depression. Let me say that again. Some experts believe that a diet that includes a high intake of fruits and vegetables, whole unprocessed, uh, unprocessed grain, fish, olive oil, low fat dairy, and lots of antioxidants, for instance, in berries dark chocolate, coffee, to be honest, is associated with a decreased risk of depression. On the other hand, consuming a lot of red and processed meat, refined grains, sugars, you know, sugars are, are probably one of the worst things for us. Our bodies just don't know what to do with it. High fat dairy products, potatoes, butter, and a low intake of fruits and vegetables is more highly associated with an increased risk 
of depression. So caregivers, you're doing such a noble thing, but don't forget how important your diet is and never forget to take care of yourself as well. I'm Dr. Jim Collins, growing a beard. See you later.